Okay, I thought we'd do a little uh, a little bit about hairsier dubbing. So this is your natural hairs mask. Here's one that I've taken a little bit from, but you have different qualities of hair on this. On the ears, you have the spiky stuff that everybody talks about it when they're describing a hair's ear pattern. But all this softer stuff on the mask itself is also very useful. And using just the spiky stuff is, is a little difficult, but it can be done. But it's nicer when it's blended with this softer stuff. Now there's different ways of doing this. Um, I like to use a plastic box so you can take scissors get down and cut off the hair a little at a time. You see there's a nice colour variation in there. Uh, it's a little more difficult with the ears but it can be done. It's all right on the edge where I'm cutting now, but once you get in here, there's some lighter spiky stuff. So, but you can also use a beard trimmer. Uh, these work quite well. So you just put that on. And you can take all the hair off the ears, if you wish. And we blend this in. Now, to get the blend that you want, I like to... I, you can see there's so many shades and variations of colours and mottled and lighter, darker, spiky, soft. So. You can make your own coarseness and spikiness and colour of each uh, dubbing that you like. But I like to do a, 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 at least a quarter of a mask at a time, which this is about a quarter's worth. So what we can do now is this is a regular coffee grinder. So don't put too much hair in at once, that's about right, about a quarter of a mask. Put this in and give it a couple of blasts. Now, this won't really cut the hair, but it will blend it very nicely. And that's about that's about done. So you can see all that's a nice even shade. Now that's a good hair's ear blending. Here you can see it's a real super soft but spiky dubbing that will work for dry flies, nymphs, just about anything. But what I'll show you now <coughs> is if we take some, this is a Petit Jean ice dub. This is a brown ice dub. You don't need much at all. So we put a little bit in, a little bit of hair, a little bit of ice dub, a little bit of hair, and we just keep on dropping it in like this. And it's best to start off with less than you think you require because it's uh, it's not possible to remove it if you get too much. So we'll just put that in. Give this short bursts. You mustn't leave it on for long periods because it'll wrap everything up in knots and it'll just be one big lump. But just short bursts like that. Now you can see what's happening here now. So now you've got a sparkle hairs of your blend which is brilliant again has loads of applications. Now you may find that some of the lengths of the uh, eye stub are still a little bit too long. But all you have to do then is give it another blast. But there you go. And then so You've got one mix done now like this. What you can do now is separate this into different bunches and you can add lighter, digger hair, uh, lighter hairs here or darker hairs here or more flash or even antron. 
So in the next uh, video I'll show you uh, how to change the coarseness of the dubbing and how to apply it and use it.